Hi everyone! There are over 400 different cars to buy and collect in Gran Turismo 7. As you might know, you are unable to buy some of them with your credits unless you first receive an invitation in the game to do so. In my experience playing this game over the last few months, obtaining these brand invitations is quite rare, and they're a random prize from some of the roulette tickets you earn, so it's kind of tough to get them. A few weeks ago, the version 1.12 update addressed an apparent glitch where some of those purchase invitations would expire before they were supposed to. To remedy this matter, the 1.12 update gave players who logged into their accounts on or before April 24th invitations that lasted 30 days to purchase each of the invite-only cars in the game. So, I thought it'd be a good idea to take that opportunity to earn some money so I could purchase all of the invite-only cars while they were being offered. Because I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get the chance to buy them again as the invitations are so tough to get. So I've been playing a bit over the past few weeks, saving up my credits, and uh, now I'm going to buy all 11 of the invite-only vehicles in the game. So let's go ahead and do it. You do that by going here to Brand Central. You see right there, I have an invitation. It's in Europe. And you see the icon above each of the brands that has invite-only cars. First we have Aston Martin. We go to the showroom. You can see my invitation expires May 13th at 18.23 o'clock. We scroll over and we see there are two different invite-only cars by Aston Martin. It's the 2011 177 for $1.32 billion. And we can choose a color. Ah, uh, you gotta get a silver Aston Martin. Spirit Grey, Spirit Grey it is. Let's go ahead and buy that. Beautiful looking car. And it had, it's worth 1,320 collector points. For those of you interested in the collector levels. And we will not get in the car right now because we have more cars to buy. We're going to stay in the Aston Martin showroom. It does now tell us under car collection right above the purchase price, this car has now been acquired. So now we go here. This one has not been acquired. This is the Vulcan from 2016. And we're going to 3.3 million credits. We're going to go ahead and purchase this. Um, what color do we want? What color do we want? Well, here's the available colors. I think I'm going to go with uh, Helios. I don't know. I don't know why. Purchase 3.3 million. Let's do it. Worth 3,300 collector points. That'll push me up to the next collector level. And then it'll actually skip the level, 43 to 45. Wow. We will not be getting in that car because we have more cars to buy. That does it for Aston Martin. I kind of wish it would get rid of the invitation icon once I've purchased the car, but I guess some people might want to collect multiple versions of each car to do different types of tuning. So I'm still invited to buy more of them if I choose, but one's enough for me. One of each is enough. Now let's go to the Porsche. Go to the showroom, scroll over to see what the invite-only cars are, and there's one of them, the 2004 Carrera GT at $2.3 million. Now, this car I will not be buying. It says I've already acquired this car. I must have got this through the game um, either as a prize during the cafe menus or by doing some one of the challenges. I'm not sure, but it says I've already acquired this car, so I think I'm going to save the $2.3 million, but I just want to show that here. We'll show the different colors available, just so you know what's available. It says I own this car. Great, that saves me $2.3 million. Bucks. So we will not be buying that one. Again. Next to Ferrari. That's the next invite only. We have, go to the showroom. Scroll on over. It looks like there are three different Ferraris available. Um, I have not acquired any of them. We got the La Ferrari from uh, 2013, 1.6 million. And do we even need to look at the other colors? You got to get a red Ferrari, right? I mean, who gets a yellow or I, don't know. I mean, I guess I could see maybe black, but you got to get the red Ferrari. Come on. Purchase 1.6 million. Beautiful, 1,600 collector points. We do not want to get in it right now. Back to the showroom. Shows that we've now acquired that one, but we've not yet acquired the 2002 Enzo Ferrari. Again, we're probably just going to stick with the red. There's a couple other colors available. 
Purchase 2.5 million. Great looking car. 2,500 collector points. And that again skips us a level up to 47 for the collector level. We will not be getting in that one. There's one more Ferrari we need to buy while our invitation is around. And that is the FXXK from 2014. $3.6 million. Credits. They're not dollars. What are we talking about? We do have other choices of colors available here, but again, it's a Ferrari. Don't be crazy. 3.6 million. Let's do it. Thirty-six hundred collector points. Wow. Level up again. And it's added to my garage. I do not want to get in the car. That does it for the Ferraris that are invite only. Now let's go back and take a look at the Lamborghinis. We'll go to the showroom under Lamborghini. Scroll on over to see what's invite only. And it's the Vanino. From 2014, 3.64 million credits. And we have a couple choices of colors. Well, not much. I mean, I guess you get gray metallic, gray metallic, or gray metallic. Well, you get to choose what color trim you want. Um, not much of a choice, is there? I'll just go with the red trim, sure. We'll purchase that, 3.64 million. Very cool car. Hypercar. 3,640 collector points. And that brings us to collector level 50. And I believe that's the maximum level there is in the game, unfortunately. At least at this time. That gets us the Ferrari. Or, sorry, the Lamborghini. That gets us the invite only Lamborghini. Next up, we got Pagani. Also from Italy. What do they have in the showroom for us to buy? The Huaria from 2013. Let's take a look at 1.35 million credits. A lot of colors available here, isn't there? Holy smokes. What are we going to do? Um, what color do we want? What color do we want? Scroll through the crystal clear carbon. Sure, that looks fun. That's different. I don't know if I have any cars that are crystal clear carbon. Let's purchase it. 1.35 million. Thirteen hundred fifty collector points, which do nothing for me now because now I'm at the maximum collector level. They really need to up their game on that. I only have about one third of the cars in the game right now. I mean, how could I be at the max collector level when I don't even have Barely a third of the cars of the game. Kind of silly, isn't it? It'd be very easy for them to boost that up and just let you keep earning the points. I mean, I guess we're earning the points, just no more levels. Now we go to France. Citroën. Go to the showroom. Invite only is the GT road car. One million. That's a bargain compared to what we've just been spending. Only a million. What colors do we have? Well... I guess we got a couple choices. Well, this car's either either car is gonna get really dirty really quick, but let's go black. Or is that navy? I don't know. It's hard to tell. We're buying it for a million. Thousand collector points. And we will not be entering that car just at this moment. And that's it for the invites on Strone. We go to Bugatti, and I believe that's it. Bugatti is the last invite only cars that we have to purchase. We'll go to the showroom, and all that we have to get is the Veyron. 16.4 from 2013 at 2 million credits. Let's go ahead and take a look at some colors we have available here. Uh, quite the selection, isn't there? Quite the selection. What are we going to get? I've actually, I live in the Los Angeles area, and I've actually seen quite a few of these around. Or similar. I don't know if it was the exact same model, but some of the colors are pretty wild that we see on the road. And we'll just look through one more time. And 
some of them it's like, why would anybody buy these colors? You know, it's just like, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Well, I'll be the guy. I'll be the guy that gets the car in the white with orange metallic. Let's do it. Two million. Why not? Oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. Two mil, two thousand collector points. Let's go. Let's go. Do we want to get in this one? Nah. So that is it. With the exception of the one we didn't need to buy, we just bought ten cars, and uh, that were invited. There's eleven invite-only cars total. The total purchase price, if you buy them all, I believe is twenty-five million six hundred ten thousand credits. If I did my math correctly. Hopefully I actually just bought them all and didn't skip any on the video here. I'll double check before uh, my invitations expire. Um, but you know what? We also have some roulette tickets that I've been saving up as I've been playing the game daily, trying to earn some credits as I had extra time to do so to where I could do these, but purchase all these cars. I got 16 roulette tickets saved up in my garage. I think we should open them right now. Maybe we'll, uh, just to see what we get. Maybe I'll earn, get some of that money back with some extra credits. Uh, I hope I don't get any invites to purchase any cars, as I really don't need them anymore. Uh, let's open the one stars first and see what we get. I got the smallest pile of money. Big surprise there, right? If you... If you play Gran Turismo 7, you surely understand that. 2,000 credits. All right. Let's go. Let's open another one-star roulette ticket. Look, they gave me three cars I could win. Will I win any of those three cars? No, I'll get the smallest pile of money. No, I'll get the smallest pile of money. 5,000 Gran Turismo credits have been acquired. Okay, thank you. Uh, any more one stars available? No, let's go to the two star tickets. Oh, wow. Car parts for cars that I probably don't even have. Tuning parts, a fully customizable computer for my Toyota Crown Athlete G safety car. Oh. Interesting, yeah. Let's open another two-star. Oh, I see lots of gold bars. Don't tease me with them gold bars. Why does it tease me with the gold bars when I'm going to get the smallest pile of money? There we go. Hey, but this time around, we got 10,000. It's getting better every time. It's getting better every time, isn't it? I think that does it for our two-star tickets. Let's open the three-star tickets. Suspension parts. Let's see. What, did we, what is this for? It's a fully customizable suspension for a BMW M4 safety car. Okay. It's a car that I probably don't have and a car that I'll probably not buy. Three-star roulette ticket. Let's open another. Yeah, I think the tuning parts, winning those, is kind of a bummer. Because if it's a car that I already have and use, I probably already have those parts. And if it's... I don't know. What do we got here? What do we got here? <laughs> We have a racing crankshaft for a Toyota SFR racing concept. Three-star roulette ticket. Let's keep going. Can I win a car? Can I win a car? We can win a car. We can win a car. What do we get? There's a Nissan. Z Performance 2023? Ooh, I don't think I have that car. Well, hey, they're not all the roulette tickets aren't bad, right? They can't they're not all bad. Nice. I assume that means 2023 and not 1923. I like I'm a, I prefer having the full date written out just cuz you know, you don't want to get confused anybody. You don't, you don't want any confusion. 69 collector points that I don't need anymore. Beautiful. Stored in my garage. Got another 3-star ticket here. More 
suspension. What's this car? What, what what car is this for? I mean, it's for a Subaru BRZ S from 2015. Okay, sure. Got a couple more three star tickets to open. I do prefer to save all the roulette tickets to open at once, just so I, you know, feel like I at least won something. If I open them one at a time, it just doesn't. I don't know. I don't feel like I ever win anything. I know that's kind of maybe sounds silly. Wow, the littlest pile of money, 5,000. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more three-star roulette ticket. We got a car. We got a car. Yay. It's the Renault Group 4 car. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. I mean, of course I'm going to take it. I can't return it. Not yet. They haven't added... I think they're actually adding that into the game where you can sell cars if you choose to. 350 collector points, but I'm not going to sell that. I don't think I have that car. All right. I think all that's left are a few four-star tickets. Let's go for it. All right, looking like bigger piles of gold, better looking cars, and we get the smallest pile of gold. But that pile, I believe, is 30,000? That's 30,000 credits. That's 30,000 credits. Just putting a small dent back into our bank balance. All right, another four-star ticket. Ooh, an engine. That's fun to do the engine. I think that's the only way you can get the engines is with the roulette ticket. But I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get the smallest pile of money. You can do engine swaps on certain vehicles. But you can only get the engines, I believe, from the roulette spins. 10,000 credits here, though. I've gotten... I've been playing the game for over two months now. Since since the day it came out, I've only earned gotten one engine. One engine. So they're pretty tough to get. Here we go. Another four-star ticket. Oh, don't earn that. Please not the invitation. Please not the invitation. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have an invite to buy a Bugatti, which I just bought. Hmm, that was kind of a waste of a roulette spin now, isn't it? The invites are tough to get, but <laughs> I just got one. Awesome. All right, four-star roulette ticket. Let's open it up. What are we going to get with our four-star ticket? The smallest pile of gold. 10,000. Alright. What do we got? Two more tickets? Let's do it. Oh no, not another invitation. Not another invitation, please. Hey, we'll take a car. Absolutely. Absolutely we'll take that. The Corvette. CZ. ZR1 from 2019. Nice. In Arctic white. I don't know if I'd get a white Corvette. I don't know. 134 collector points. Pushing us over 60,000 total. I believe that's it. One more four star to go. What will we get on our last ticket? You guys know what we'll get? We'll get the smallest pile of gold. That's what you usually get. And what is that? Another 10,000? That is another 10,000. All right. Beautiful. Well, that was it. That was, what, uh, 16 roulette tickets open. We did get a couple cars, and we got a few parts that we'll never use, probably. Um, so that's fun. I think before I conclude this video, since we won an invitation, I'm going to go right into Brand Central here. And just take a look, just to confirm that we don't, there's not like another car that that unlocked. It was for Bugatti that we just got. And we now have an invitation with an expiration date one month from now. And um, it's going to say we've already acquired it. So we just got an invite to buy these. We can buy more of these now, I guess. Hmm. We don't need to do that, though. That's it. 
We bought all the invite-only cars. We opened up all our roulette tickets. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I invite you all, speaking of invitations, to check us out during one of our live streams sometime. We play lots of different games, and um, I hope you guys all have fun with your gaming as well. Take care, everybody.